What is going on everybody? It's a beautiful day here in Bend, Oregon. Behind me is this absolutely stunning 2005 Prevo Country Coach. This is a double slide on the XL2 chassis. Today I'm going to ask the owner of this coach a couple questions about it and I want to give you a complete tour. In a moment we'll go inside and talk to Rick. Let's take a look at the basement bays. <music> This first bay here is going to be a very large pass-through bay with the full pass-through tray. And then you'll see these nice country coach chairs that have a nice compartment right here, completely carpeted on the inside of this basement door. And then you'll see two more of those country coach chairs on the other side. This is going to be where your generator is. It's a Powertech diesel generator. Looks like he's got 2,285 hours on it. This is gonna be the plumbing bay here. Everything's just finished out with chrome. You can see all of your uh, tank capacities out here. Electrical outlets. Looks like a phone jack too. In this uh, front bay here, this whole door opens up. There's an air compressor and Rick just had that air compressor fixed. He had that work done at Coach Pros in Eugene, Oregon, and the old air compressor was working, but it was just really noisy. He says this is 10 times less noisy, and he paid about 1,500 bucks to have that new air compressor installed. That's the auxiliary air compressor for all the seals and whatnot. All kinds of electrical uh, stuff here. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a DEF tank. I don't think this coach has DEF. Um, it goes to a light. I found it, guys. It's the headlight fluid. No, I'm just kidding. One of the cool things about these Prevo Country Coaches are the stripes are painted onto the stainless there more so than other converters. You can see the paint's coming all the way down here on top of the stainless, which really brings it all together. Let's take a look at the basement doors on this side as well. And boom. Here you're gonna have your Magna. It looks like those are 4,000 watt inverters. Everything's finished off. This is gonna be, I'm not sure what those are. Your radiator, some sort of a filter in there. It looks like a little pull-out grill there. That's probably for the bus air, I believe. I think there's definitely a different radiator for the coach. I think this radiator is just for the bus air, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, so please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. It's only a half bay there with the half pull-out tray. And then this is that same pull-out tray we saw from the other side. Rick and Mary just had this entryway redone. I asked them how much it cost. It was about $3,000. It was like wood floor here. So they had all the light put in. I think they might have gotten a little bit of that idea from my YouTube channel. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just kidding. This was originally there, but when they put the tile down, it just tied it all together really nice. I did film this coach not too long ago in a comparison video where I was comparing their old country coach affinity to this Prevo Country Coach. Uh, I did a tour with my buddy Rob over at Prevo Life. And since then, they've had a ton of updates done. They've kind of gone with like a Tommy Bahama decorating theme. Uh, they had that entryway redone, a lot of cool stuff. The first thing I wanna point out to you is there's a projector right here. So normally there's like a huge 85 inch screen that can come down if you really wanna watch movies in here. and. The thing that I really like about this coach that I noticed is it has a carbon fiber steering wheel. That's that's a lot of dough right there. This new Tommy Bahama theme that they did is just, just worked out great. This chair came out of their country coach actually. And I have to say the one thing I don't like about this coach 
is this TV right here because it's blocking that huge window, which is just such a big part of the view that really keeps the coach open. So I don't know. I keep telling Rick and Mary they got to do away with that TV somehow. All suede. I really like the, the finishes of this coach. It's that slide out where you don't see the floor is, is even. You don't see where the slide out is. This was aftermarket here. The folks that owned it before them had this put in. One of the things I really like about this vintage of Prevo Country Coach is this cabinet here, the, the painted cabinets. It's like an automotive paint. I like the look, really looks nice. We're out here on their llama farm. Uh, Rick and Mary own llamas here. They breed llamas actually. This is something you can do to customize your coach. I think those were, were there before, but it all ties together. They bought it somewhere at an art studio or something and then had it put on the wall. And I think they even put it on the wall themselves and just such a cool use of that space right there. And then just all the little subtle details like the Tommy Bahama pillows and the cool flowers just helped tie everything else in together so well. It's gonna be your electrical panels. I mean, this is a lot of stuff going on here. You got a big digital Crestron screen. You can control everything with that. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of different switches here. Floor heat, that's cool. I don't know if these are pocket air doors, if you gotta press a button or... No, you can just pull those. I really like that these aren't air doors. These are just normal, normal doors. I like that, that's good. Less stuff that can break. Nice size head area off to the right here. And they did a lot of cool stuff. This is a great design idea. It just tied the whole coach together. This shower is huge. You can see there's like a curve in the glass here. That's super high end. Completely finished with tile from floor to ceiling. Mirrors, leather, just super nice. That same beautiful wood floor throughout. And the thing I really like about these Prebo Country Coaches is this huge closet off to the right. Remember one of the first interviews I did was my buddy Andrew Malik, who had traded his Thor Venetian for a Prevo Country Coach. And that was the first time I saw one of these closets in that video. And I was really impressed at the time. I didn't know that most of the Prevo Country Coaches have the same floor plan. What a great use of space to have this, basically a walk-in closet inside of a of your coach you know just it's just nice to have a lot of storage and then you've got a wrap around bar and this is a huge closet that's going to be right next to your shower and your head and your sink area so a really good placement for the closet and then right across from your closet is going to be a stackable washer and dryer just a really cool use of the space you can do your laundry right here and then put your clothes right away. You've got dresser, drawers, wardrobe to hang. Very well thought out, country coach. Be your second sink back here. There's another sink in the head back there. Just totally finished. And this was 2006, but like the textures they use were really high end and really timeless. This is really cool. Kind of a Tommy Bahama style uh, bedspread gives it a really cool vibe. That same cabinetry that's got that automotive paint on it. Suede, everything is just dialed. But they're going to uh, put this surfboard on the door right there. It's going to look really cool here. I'll, I'll show you what it's going to look like. They're just kind of getting it ready, but I think that's what they're going for. They're going to have that on the door. So Rick and Mary are super cool people. And here, I'll talk, I'm going to ask Rick a few questions here in a minute. I just want to show you this coach before we talk to Rick here. So Samsung TV looks like that's been updated. And I really like this square pattern on the walls. And then this huge door here, which is gonna go to the back closet. Now they have all their clothes in there. That's another huge back closet there. Just a ton of space in here. So Everybody meet my buddy, Rick on my bucket list and another thing is there's nothing like a driver as opposed to bouncing and rattling this is just a cruiser and that's why i wanted as a driver so you've owned this coach now for what about six months or so or how long have you owned yeah, this coach four, for four months 
four months now. Um, you got a pretty good deal on it. Can I ask about how much you've had to put into it since you since you bought it? I probably put fifteen thousand into it since I bought it, doing things we want to do, uh, because they were we just wanted to be different. Obviously, we had a different taste. Didn't have to be done. These are things to improve the looks of it. As far as chassis wise, have you had to do anything to the chassis? Have you had to spend any money other than the than remodeling the interior? Have you had to spend any money on anything else? Or no, uh, no. There's really no uh, no mechanical issues that we had, except for it had an air leak, which every bus has, I think, and they fixed that and replaced the valve. But mechanically, it seems to be pretty sound. What it cost you to fix that air leak? Yeah, that was that wasn't too bad. It's usually mostly labor because there there's so many so much research you can't find them. You fix one, you got another one somewhere else. <clears throat> but I, I'm thinking sort of like four or five hundred dollars. Is there something that made you choose the country coach conversion or what? Well, yeah, I, I've always been fond of being in the area where country coach was founded, and I, I love the quality of the they they built the the best production coach I think I've ever seen. I had an affinity and I really loved it, but I just had to have the country coach uh, Prevost because of the driver aspect. There is no comparison to any coach that I've ever been in as far as I'm concerned. This bus chassis is just all totally different from uh, the other chassis that I've driven and it just gives you comfort just going down the road. In fact, sometimes I just like to ride around the block just to get, get out and drive it. But we're going to head, head to uh, Georgia in October, so we're getting everything ready for that. You used to have four slide outs in your Affinity. You only have two slide outs in this. How has it been having less room in the coach? Uh, it's been great because I'm not a real social person anyway. So it's, if I can only get two, two, uh, two people for company, that's fi fine with me. Uh, no, it's, we, we miss the extra space. A little bit but we also appreciate the quality and if you two less slides are always a problem two less slides is, is not going to kill us it makes it more stable rick i can't thank you enough for letting me and the folks on youtube take a look at your awesome prevo country coach here can't thank you enough for letting me mooch dock here on your property too so <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. I greatly appreciate all of you that are liking these videos and subscribing to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.